Hey everyone, this is D Movie Man, fellow cinephile, popcorn addict, and emerging film critic, coming to you with reliable recaps, reviews, and reactions. And today, I'm coming to you all with a review for Love with Black Spots, directed by Oscar Winman Hyde, co-written by Jade Winman Hyde and Oscar Winman Hyde, and starring Oliver Harding and Saffron Walters. Story-wise, the film is centered around a young couple who, shortly after moving into their new home, discover a ladybug infestation. However, Neither of them are prepared for the unexpected shift in their relationship that this discovery will cause. So, I'm going to start with the pros. I am so here for the growth. So first, let me start off by saying that I previously had the opportunity and the pleasure to review Cycles, which was Oscar's feature directorial debut. That was actually back in February, which really feels like an entire lifetime ago. <laughs> But it was quite the experience, not even just having my thoughts and a review requested, but also having my first screener experience and just overall, it was something I really appreciated and was very grateful for. So naturally, I was already down to support Oscar's future projects, regardless of a review being requested or anything like that. But as you can see, I was very excited to have the opportunity to watch and review his newest short film. Now, what immediately stands out to me is the tremendous progression as far as the filmmaking itself. I mean, we immediately open up with this really cool POV shot of a doorbell. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, okay, <laughs> we are definitely switching up things this time around and it only got better from there. Cycles, for obvious reasons, was a much more static kind of film. And part of that was the story being told and then the parameters that were in place for that story to be told and for the film to be made overall. But man, I really loved seeing all the techniques used in this film. I mean, we got, you know, some panning, some tilting, some overhead shots. We even got some color grading. And I just felt like there was so much visually that really like kept my attention. I was really, really enjoying it. Even when it comes down to the use of the ladybugs themselves, and I can't even begin to imagine <laughs> what it was like, you know, handling them on set, but I thought even the close-up shots of those, like, I thought that was so interesting to me, and just overall, there was a lot visually that really kept my attention. There was so much variety and so much, you know, there was just a lot that kept changing throughout the film. As far as the performances, I did think that Oliver Harding and Saffron Walters did a really solid job here. Acting really resonates with me the most when it feels honest, and the performances absolutely felt honest, which of course helped me to invest in these characters. It felt like I was really watching two people going through the motions, really navigating their relationship, and you know, almost like I was watching a documentary. It just kind of felt like an extension of real life and it didn't feel like performances, so to speak. And I think what really enhances those performances is something that I often appreciate and that I think is so integral to filmmaking as a whole. That is writing. Now, if you know me, you know that writing is very important to me. And in my opinion, it can often make or break a film. That's not always the case, but for a lot of films, the writing if it's not, you know, on point, if it's not where it needs to be, then the film really goes downhill fast. So thankfully, I loved that the writing, much like the performances, was very honest. It felt very genuine. It felt very organic. It felt like we were really navigating a genuine relationship and what that might sound like. It wasn't unrealistic, it wasn't silly, it wasn't, you know, super melodramatic. It was just right on point to where I really felt the emotions and I felt what this couple was really going through in their relationship. And I think what lends itself to that is the fact that Oscar and Jade, who are husband and wife, have collaborated in bringing this project to life. And with that, it helps that they are bringing so much of their own inspiration into the writing. That also is why this feels a lot more genuine. It doesn't feel manufactured. We're not just kind of throwing something together or trying to think like, hey, how does 
you know, this relationship, you know, how would this sound? It's like, no, we're actually taking our own experiences and our own dynamic and just pouring a lot of that into this couple. When I spoke with Oscar, he was very transparent about he and Jay's relationship and the fact that they had been together since they were 14, got married when they were 22, and are now 25. And although, of course, their relationship isn't 100% indicative of what we see here, there was definitely an inspiration to highlight and showcase young love and just what the dynamics of that can look like. And just how the ability to love someone can change the older you get. And as the world becomes more casual and the idea of what a relationship should look like changes. And there can be a lot of positive advantages of having someone that you have known since you were young and just having that youthful idealism and just always thinking back to how that started and the place that you were in then. But then it can also just change the older you get. You see life differently. You may see your partner differently. And then how do you contend with that? You know, how do we make sense of this as we change and the world changes? And maybe the way we saw love and saw relationships when we were much younger and in that youthful stage, how has that changed now that we have had some life experience and we are older and more mature and we see the world and just life very differently. It is a very compelling perspective. So I really appreciated the fact that Jack and Isla were a mixture of Oscar and Jade, but also this new generation. And there was just this encouragement for people to still believe in love regardless of age and somewhere in their understanding if and when that should change, it is very possible to move on from that peacefully and with a sense of clarity and understanding. Doesn't mean that it's easy, <laughs> but it is possible. And I think that is really such an impactful concept and just theme to explore. And I think that's really what brought so much of this together for me. All right, now I'm gonna jump over to the cons. Honestly, I don't have a lot of cons here. My only real con would be with the runtime. And that is simply because I just wanted more of what I saw here. And really, that's not a bad thing. Really, it speaks to the fact that the story dynamics are so interesting, that the characters are interesting, and just even the conversations and the dialogue, all of that is interesting, but I wanted to like stay with it. I wanted to see more of the transitions and the shifts in their relationship and just to see more of what that would look like. And although I do understand it is a short, I do think that if we had just a little bit more time, we could have rounded out some of that so that it didn't feel like somewhat of a shift from what we see in the beginning to what we see at the end. What we see here is still very effective and really it's because of that effectiveness that I just wanted to see more of it and just really learn more about these characters. Because as I said, I found them very interesting. I just thought the story and concept was equally interesting. So I'm going to give Love with Black Spots a B plus. Like I said earlier, I am so here for the growth and I really appreciate seeing an artist or a creator really grow and just really enhance their craft, you know, and grow along with their talents and their gifts. And that's absolutely how I felt watching this film. Not to mention seeing it happen so quickly and in the same year, you know, we got a feature film earlier, now we have a short, and I can only imagine what we're going to see next. Although I'm never mad at watching a blockbuster, I think when it comes to independent filmmaking, there is just this rawness and openness and just general transparency that I appreciate about it. And I saw that in Cycles and I absolutely see that here. So much like I said in my review of Cycles, I am so here for the vision that Oscar and Jade have and just the depth that their projects have. I, that's just something that I really appreciate. And like I said, we see so much in the film industry and you know, there's always something to appreciate, but just, I don't know, there's something about independent filmmaking and just kind of building it from the ground up. There's just something about that that really resonates with me. So I hope that you guys will just continue on and I am all in for the next project. Regardless of whether I'm able to review it or not, I'm just here to support 
the vision. I'm here to support the creativity and just the filmmaking, just all of it. I'm here for it. I'm so excited for it. And I can't wait <laughs> to see what happens next. Love with Black Spots is now available on Sophie.tv. You guys feel free to check it out. Leave your thoughts below and let me know what you think. So, once again, this is D Movie Man signing off. And I'll see you at the movies. Thank you.